So the next thing is welding. So we've got this top stuff all put in nice and neat. But what's one of that bottom on? It's just kind of sitting there. So we're going to weld that, these two plates together. <clears throat> so pretty easy. I'm going to go over here. Um, facility features. Hit weld bead. Put that face, that face, and that face. And look at my weld. Eighth of an inch weld. Just kind of highlighting where the weld's going to be. If I go to the symbol, I can tell it that yes, that's going to be a fillet weld. I can tell it contour, finishing, openings, whatever I want. Hit OK. And then OK. Wow. And it puts in that eighth of an inch fill weld. Sweet. So is that the only place I'd want to weld that? Maybe I'd want to weld on the back side too. Good groove back there. That's where SolidWorks isn't as nice. Um, but what would I need back there first? And I could weld just those two flat things, right? You would want a chamfer. But I'd want a chamfer this to, to make it so I can do a groove weld. Right. So, and usually we wouldn't put that on the part drawing, right? Usually that'd just be here on the assembly. We'd call it the weld and the machinist would know, or the welder would know. I need to grind that off. Then fill the well. So we don't want to go into the model and put the chamfer on in the model because that makes the drawing for that. And we don't want to show that chamfer on that drawing. So what we can do here, assembly features, we've got an option to do a chamfer here in the assembly that will not show back on the model. Or like before we did the whole series, now it backs the model. These, the whole, the extruded cut, the remove cut, the fillet, the chamfer, those stay here in the assembly. <clears throat> so like, if you wanted to have two parts put together and then drill through both parts to get, make a hole, you do the hole here in the assembly. And that hole won't go back to the model. Um, same thing with the chamfer and the fillet. So we'll do a chamfer and which edge am I picking there? Am I picking the top part or the bottom part? I have no clue. So what I want to do is, I want to do the, I want to put that chamfer in the bottom piece. So I'm going to click on the top one, and I'm going to hide it. Not change the visibility, or change the transparency, but I'm just going to hide it. So now I know for sure that this is that part. So, assembly features, chamfer. All right. Now I can come back over here, find this one, turn it back on. So now I can go into my weld. Let me see if this will work. Right, take those two faces, put it in. This one is going to be a bevel well. Okay. And it doesn't fill in as nice. So you can see kind of the how it's it's doing it. It wants to fill in a circle around that intersection. And it just isn't nice looking. Um, so you just kind of have to live with it. Do that or not, put it in. And then just do a, a call out on the drawing. But if you want to show the weld, then you have to live with it's a bad thing. Um, so you can also, on the, on the drawing, call out the weld mint there, like, like traditional. So I, I'm gonna, just gonna take those out. You're showing the fillet weld is nice, but that other one is kind of thick. So maybe I don't want to show either one. I just want to call them out. So I'm just gonna save that. Do a new drawing. If 
Playwright annotation. Here's my weld symbol. So tell it. Bevel on the other side. Bevel on this side. I can just move it up and put it where I want to put it. So I can just put in the foot in the, my symbol like that. And not have to worry about drawing the, the cosmetic weld. Because usually on drawings we don't need that. Um, if you're wanting to show it on the assembly and you want to see or it'll see it in 3D that where the weld is, yeah, but because of that groove weld looking so bad, I prefer just to leave that off um, rather than give them the wrong impression that I don't want it filled or I want it to overfill or whatever. Because um, they know by the, the symbol what the weld is that they, they should use. So it's just right there. We just put in we just really, uh, the drawing, weld symbol, put it in. What else are we missing on this drawing? What else do we usually want on assemblies? What other features? What? No. what other view? Oh, isometric? Yeah, isometric. And what I want that is exploded, probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so I can do, uh, I can do just an isometric with it all together. But it'd be nice to do an isometric with it exploded also so I can see where the parts are. So I'm just going to save this real quick. Go back to my assembly. Notice when you click on this exploded view right here. And so basically, I'm just going to pick an object, an object, grab the arrow, and pull it out. Holding control or anything, I'm picking those. I'm just picking them off the list. Go back to my symmetric so I can see kind of where everything is. Say okay, and that's a pretty cool. Yeah, that's a pretty good isometric exploded view. So I'm going to save it, close it, go back to my assembly drawing. So model view. Next, isometric, and it goes all up. <clears throat> and it'll kind of go based on how your model or how your assembly is. If I open that assembly, how did you make the uh, heating line? You just put a heat, heating line over there, like a broken line, put Where? through a hole. Why the hole go? See all the pieces right there? Yeah. It should be a broken line, so right? Oh, the, the trails? Yeah, the truck, yeah. It depends. How, how do you do that? Okay, so we come back to the assembly. Um, So 
go to the so go to exploded line sketch, and we're going to connect that part, that part. No idea what's doing all the rest of it. Okay. It should just be that part. Uh, but my, what I've learned and what how I do it, if it's pretty straightforward like this, uh -huh. I don't put them in. I prefer not to do the, the lines because they can see on the. They can see here where everything ends up. Yeah. yeah. So I prefer not to do them. Okay, but well, it's good to know, right? Yeah. Um, I'll I'll look at it and figure it out. Because um, even places other software that does do them, I turn them off. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can figure it out. But also, so let's go back to here. How do I see it back together now? I want to put it back together. Yes. Uh, you'd think that. I go back to Explosive View. Um, yeah, so you have to go here to the Configuration tab. And then expand out to the fault configuration. Right click on the Exploded and collapse it. If I had already done that, and now I come here to, to insert it, like it's still together. So what I can do is I can right click on that view, go to properties, and then show an exploded state. Say OK. And I, so I could have changed this one to that also. We just go to properties, show an exploded, and I'll pull it out. Or if you if you've saved it when it's exploded, and you try and put in these, they might come. They'll come and explode it also. And so you just go to them and take off the check mark and put them back together. Okay. Questions? So go ahead and try that.